You gotta take time out to um take care of your elf. You know. Especially when you know that you're gonna be dance all queen two thousand and twenty three. <laughs> How can you be what you already are, you know? So, um, this is my second week of iron infusion. You know, I've been anemic all my life. And, um, you know, like on the internet, people say that Amari looks sick. I am sick, you know? I have been sick. And then consider 13 kids and having low iron counts. A lot of us, you know, we have low iron count, we just don't rea realize. But you know the good thing? My menses stopped. I'm 53 years old, so it can only get better now. Because um, as a female, I bleed a lot, you know, during the years of my menstruation, you know, a lot. So I want to thank God for menopause. I want to celebrate my six fifth six month menopausal journey you know what i mean where did my pick up me and queen it put on no we can't have kids we not have kids still no hope for all women because we got experience mm -hmm. lord jesus Mario, what are you coming with this morning? You need to look about your sick self and leave people business alone. Good morning, Instagram. Good morning, Queen Mixup. I so appreciate you because um, I haven't been able to like bring my videos here, there, and everywhere. Plus, I'm on vacation. I'm on a three months vacation, so I don't know how I'm going to become Queen of Dance or something that I already am. <laughs> but I need a break. I need a social media break. I need a break from everything, everyone, you know. I love you, but I just need this break. I need to detox, draw closer to God. Last night I got a dream that I was climbing this mountain and a voice told me I, I need to climb higher to see God. And then I realized that Moses and all these people used to, used to disappear and go up into the mountains where he received the Ten Commandments and all that. I may not climb a physical mountain, but spiritually, I need to be up there, up there, up there, up there. I vibes with God Almighty. I don't know if you know, but from when I was a child, I envisioned myself as a minister at the age of 55, and I always said it. You know, I got the dream. There was the church, and I was preaching in the church. It goes far, further and deeper than that, but I don't want to get into it because it's it's so touching. <laughs> I might as well get into it. But, no, so not everything you talk, you know what I mean? But um, I know I'm supposed to be a minister for Christ, whether it be dance or however it happens, but I'm supposed to be a minister, whether I be a, um, uh, I may not be a straight evangelist, but like, a, uh, well, I'm getting my iron. I'm all confused and all that, but I want to do good. And it starts by, you know, sending out well wishes when my comrades get sick, like beautiful people, check it out. When Spice was sick, Amari was constantly, constantly, good morning, Spice, hope you feel better. Chancy sick, Amari's like, Chancy, hope you feel better. You know, um, Queenie, mentally sick, Amari's like, Queenie, this too shall pass. And you notice when Mari's sick, though, motherfuckers wish that I could just disappear. Have, have you noticed? <laughs> I just want to make sure that you notice that I may have the good heart around here. You know, it, it's sad, though, because entertainment is entertainment. I wish I could, like, wake up one morning and hear that 
one of these people say get well Amari it's real sad you know real sad you know go back to all my videos all my videos no matter what no matter who for wedding dress material no matter what I wish these people well that's why I know that I'm chosen they don't like the chosen person around here. They take my style, yet they give me no credit for it. They steal my hairstyles. Queenie wearing my tattoos. They bold, too. Chancy trying to look like me. Dolly Baby, Tommy Hilfiger and all. My facial expressions, everything. They take it all. Even the other day, you would say, Amari, you're lying. I saw, guess who I saw? With my exact style during her tour, Beyonce. And that's the truth. All of them take my style. Stinking batty Nicki Minaj talking about goody. Am I lying, folks? Am I lying? And yet these people act like they don't see me. You think I don't, I'm not hurt? When Nicki Minaj, you know, um, go on Queenie page and give her lions for crying for Dewey. And I've been on the internet crying for my 13 kids, homeless, asking for help, asking for peace. And these people never spoke up for me. You think I'm not hurt? I was her biggest fans. I sing songs about her. Juicy Ain't It by Amari talks about Nicki Minaj. My latest single, produced by the one and only Sicker Rhymes, talk about Nicki Minaj. And that, that dirty stinking mongrel, Nicki Minaj, Passing through, acting like she passing through Jamaica and all the greats and never once say, I am Ari, you dog shit. Who are you, Nicki Minaj? I don't rate you. Talking about you here to fix relationship. That's why your name is Petty. You're a petty bitch. Bitch saw me come in line and talk against her. Then she run over, trying to screw me, run over Queenie Page, giving her alliance. And the bitch had the nerve to say the credit card declined. Bitch, bitch, were you ever hear about that? Your credit card declined? To what's going on nowadays, people, I could almost think that the real Nicki Minaj don't exist, that somebody is going around playing the voice of Nicki Minaj and fooling all these Jamaicans. Because if this is really Nicki Minaj, you look like a fucking fool, bitch. That's what you look like, low class. What true woman on an international scale would come on a platform? You understand, beginner, she baba, queenie, all, all the flip-flops, all the flip-flops, lava. And bitch, you don't see Amari? Get, get the fuck out of here, bitch. That's why God gonna take away all your fame and popularity. Because I call that shit down on you, bitch. Because you act like you're... What, what the fuck this bitch come from nowhere and want to point out who's important in reggae? Who the fuck are you? Last time I checked, your man is on house arrest. Everywhere he go, he got a punch in. You got to punch in that. I'm a pedophile. Blah, blah, blah. Everywhere you go, you got to punch that in. Can't go near schools. Can't go near daycares. I guess that's why you can't come near me. Because your man can't come near me with my 13 kids. Back in the days. Last time I checked. I don't rate you. Cardi, if you out there, all at me. All at me, Cardi. Because I don't rate this bitch. She's a nobody. You understand? And act like she's something. She ain't nobody. There must be about five Nicki Minaj. Last time I checked, this girl um, fly out. Where the country did she come from? She fly out from Trinidad looking like a porky pork. Huge. Next minute, I see this slim Nicki Minaj at the awards. Which one are you, bitch? Which one are you? Because there's no way you could have lose all that weight in no time. People around here may be bowing down and worshiping you with, their, with your declined credit card. Amari ain't going to bow down and worship to you, bitch. This one Jamaican, that's not going to bow down to you, you sneaking motherfucker. Sneaking in. Last time I checked too, you came about you doing some reggae album bullshit with Pompeii, Spice and all that. And at the end of the day, it was still Amari and Queenie. 
Yeah, yeah, queen in my bitch. I curse her when, when, when I want to, but that's my bitch. You touch her, that's something else. Because I love Queenie. Excited. Yeah, Queenie's excited. But what did you do, Nicki Minaj? You entertain, you push Queenie to cry for the rest of the year. Because if I was on social media and Nicki Minaj give me some lion, because my heart broken, would I ball more? Come I want more lion. So I'm going to see if, if I'm Queenie life change. Now that you claim that you're going to give her the lion them, yeah, give her the lion them on TikTok. You're going to give her after the show. I'm going to see if she dress better, look better, buy a house, buy a car, because a union Nick Minaj, you know, you're supposed to give her at least a hundred grand. That, that's supposed to be nothing to you. Me never see you come out once as an artist and say you have money problem. Mm. The rest of artists, them, me see them I eat lobster for 100,000. And me see them I eat beef with gold upon it for 100,000. Last night I watched a video of them. Them food now cost 100,000. So bitch, I hope you did not give my bitch 5,000 because that mean nothing to Queenie. That's what she collect at a show. Since as you want to show off, I hope you go over upon our page and give her at least 200,000 Miss, Miss Wannabe who been there, done that, and still don't feel like somebody. When you're ready, you coke out and you joke out. You understand and come on internet talking about um, what you call the shots and shooting up gun in the air. You come so far and that's what you come with shit? That's what you come with? I see people telling me, Amari, Nicki Minaj, visit Jamaica. I have yet to see in the newspaper once where you have done anything for my country. All you do is steal energy. Just recently, bitch realizing that she getting old, so she steal um, I Spice energy. Because the girl is young. When you look at the video, you there trying to be a Barbie. Bitch, you old. You old and you don't carry the young jeans like me. And there you pull the little girl energy. You just want to see somebody coming up and you ride on their energy talking about feature. And I don't know what made them think that they can't be somebody unless your feature on their shit. That's why I love Cardi. Cardi believe in herself. And you know what? Cardi believe in God. Karma, bitch. Karma, bitch. You understand? You, you, you supposed to be so rich. Your mama got a lawsuit when your father got knocked down. Yeah. You supposed to be rich, bitch. She win the lottery before. You understand? I don't know what the shit you all be doing, but I know that you are not serving God. Sacrifices after sacrifices. When you talk to Petty, don't forget Nicki Minaj, that when you got in touch with that guy, his baby mother got shot up. Shot up, and they made sure that the kid wasn't home. When his baby mother got shot up, does it have anything to do with you? Because you're Nicki Minaj, and they wanted her out the way. The beautiful, beautiful, beautiful girl. They wanted her out the way because she was messing up everything. For Petty to be in your life without you being criticized, I'm not scared of you. The only person I'm scared of around here, Nicki Minaj, is God Almighty. You know your hands ain't clean. You know your hands ain't clean, so you can't talk to me. I just said I want you to be an evangelist. I am an evangelist, Nicki Minaj. And God knows that you're dirty. That's why meat mills don't roll with you. You're shitty and you're nasty. Don't tell me that Lil Wayne never went there. You tell me you read so far and never slept with Lil Wayne? Huh? You, you, you never got a taste of his dark meat? <laughs> As Sika Rams would say, <laughs> Dr. Money laughed. The thing about it is, bitch, I don't work. I don't work on the internet no more. I don't work at all. But you look on me, you see wealth. You see God's blessing. I have yet to see it on you. Take off the, the makeup. One minute your ass big. Next minute, no ass. What, what, what are you doing, bitch? You pushing up a pillow in your ass? You know that thing that you push in your ass? You see a video, you see ass. Then you see you little tiny like a Barbie. What the fuck? Five Nicki Minaj. I ate you, bitch. And then you trying to be what? What? What the guy name? Acting like you have double personality like me with mom. 
The thing is, I don't go to no ritual and come up. What she called the guy? Ro, ro, Roman? Roman and talking about, shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up, bitch. You ain't got no, no double personality. That's a pretense. But me now, you come up against me, you got to, you got to back the fuck off. Because I got a real power in me. I got a spirit in me that you can't stop. Bitch, you're going out the door. I am coming. I am coming in reggae, dancehall, hip hop, every avenue. I'm coming. I'm, I'm, I'm not going to suck your big toe. I'm not going to bow down and worship you. I don't even watch your videos anymore. Because like I say, you never did nothing for my country. I don't rate nobody, not you, not Beyonce, none of y'all that do nothing for my country. Last time I heard Beyonce on a bike in Jamaica with Jay-Z on, Jay on a bike with Beyonce on the back in Jamaica. But I, I have yet to hear an interview with her saying, you know, may God bless Jamaica. I don't rate you. All you do is use Jamaicans because you know it's so cool. Bitch, bitch, no, I'm the only one round here with my Jamaican slang, bomba clot, raw slot, and it sounds so good. Bitch, be talking about bomba clot. Get the fuck from out of here. And don't send up my blood pressure. Don't let me hear you say bomba clot. I, one more time, bitch, else I'm going to take a pad and slap you across your fucking face. But bomba clot, raw slot. You forget where you were born? Not Jamaica. Not Jamaica. So don't try to pretend to be one. And don't come around here acting like you're the most important one. You understand? You know who's important around here? My fans. For too long. Not just my fans. Everybody fans. For too long they have been known as followers. They are the leaders around here. They dictate what is number one in dancehall, reggae, hip-hop and everything. You understand? But you all have tried to take the power from them. Buying views, buying streams, buying everything. You understand? And making it seem as if you're more important than you are. And calling them followers. There are no followers. You motherfuckers. You are the thieves and the drones around here. Because guess what you all do? It's sad. Check it out. My fans are being used. My fans put out the most content on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, and they they barely make a cent. Who make them? You all. And it's sad because without my fans, there would be no Instagram. Without my fans, there would be no Facebook. I'm talking all the people that you call followers. You understand? And the, the rules and the laws need to be changed. That if they put up a video, they put up anything. Think about it. Say you got a matey. And you post your picture, you post your husband, you post your kids. Who caused the matey to come on the page? You. You. Shouldn't you be rewarded for your efforts? So nobody going to like me around here. Because I'm going to show up the things that are wrong. Totally wrong. Totally wrong. And you don't truly give back. Bitch walking around here giving out lions? That's all you can afford to do? I don't respect you, and I encourage people not to back you. You're a freeloader, and you're a thief, and because you see Cardi at the reggae party and invited out all the influential reggae folks, ex then miss, you did not invite Amari, but that's okay, Cardi. I wasn't there yet. You understand? I'm there. I'm 91% there now. So, Cardi, you still got your chance. Imagine girls such as, what the girl name? over by YouTube, who called me for an interview, and I told her I wasn't ready last year. E even that girl recognized me. The one who always be drinking her wine. You understand? S something on wine. Tasha. Tasha K recognized me. You understand? And, and you acting like I'm, I'm nobody. Big up Tasha K. I'm still not quite ready for that interview, Tasha K. But I so rate you for getting Tasha K team got in touch with me and said, Queen of Dancehall, we need to give you an interview. And you want to act like I'm nobody? 
get the fuck from around here and go talk about all them kids you all sacrificed to your gods in order to make it to the top because you didn't want to bring forth babies because you're a queen of hip hop. Go talk about it. Then walk around with your one son and act like they everything to you. Go answer for those that you didn't bring forth. And then your man again under house arrest. Imagine he can only watch you on TV. If I have a man, I would want him right by my side. Everywhere I go. Last time I checked, is a Jamaican you have. Hole in your hand. In your country. A Jamaican artist you are bringing you everywhere. Because some of my Jamaican just bumble clad fool, fool and just nyami nyami and licky licky. And I might bring you all around. What happened to your husband, bitch? Wasn't he your bodyguard? Hmm? Why are you using my Jamaicans? I know you don't even talk about my Jamaican. And I guess the same Jamaican you have in my yard. I cook ackee and I cook saltfish and about big up. Fuck off, bitch. Leave my culture alone. Go ride on your own. I mean, you rode on one Jamaican safari for over 20 years. And at the end of the day, you didn't give him fuck. He sat and write your lyrics, give you the styles, you understand, and put the spirit in you, the Jamaican spirit with you, so that you could win in love and hip hop, in, in, in hip hop. And at the end of the day, you, what you do, you just get rid of him, and, and he barely surviving on love and hip hop. Erica, why I love Erica Mena? Because cause she, them days, she the prettiest thing on love and hip hop. But she gave him back hope. She gave him back life when you took it, bitch. And she gave him back kids when you wouldn't bring forth his kids. You took it. You took everything. Everything. And gave him nothing. He shouldn't even have to work one day in his life. When you were laying on your bed and he was saying, Nikki, do it this way, do it that way. And you were so successful. And now you have to be pushing and riding on young people and doing everything to be successful. You have yet to come out with a real rap. Because everything is just sing-song pop. You're not successful. That's why you, you, your pussy so miserable, bitch. Because you know deep down inside that we star the show. Jamaica. Jamaicans. And I, I can't believe Safari so move on with his life. Beautiful kids. And I apologize for Spice. Gonna say that. Um, Erica, kids don't love her. You're a dirty, stinking Jamaican. One that needs to be parked and flushed down the toilet. And I apologize for that, Erica. Thank you for bringing forth our Jamaican seed. You're, 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 you're a beautiful soul and God, God, God shall break every chain. All the voodoo and everything that have been done to you to break up your marriage. God says he's going to break it and your husband will be back home. God going to break every chain in Jesus name because they have tied you up and wrap you up. Cause you to want you to lose your mind. And when you want to lose your mind, they want to turn your kids against you. And they realize your kids still love you. And so get that's what they want to do. They, they take away your job from you. But God say, let my people go. Let my people go. Huh? These dirty motherfuckers. How can you go on a show and then you decide you're going to be a bully and get rid of everybody? God shall bring you down to your knees, you wretched bitch. You wretched bitch. Yes, I'm the minister that God wants me to be. I want to thank you, Erica. May God lift you up. <laughs> May God lift you up. <laughs> because I know things. May God lift you up. <laughs> so you're telling me that Erica was dating Safari and in the midst of 18 him, her man was killed. Killed. Why? Who? Where? When? The love of her life was killed. And she was left with Safari. And you all take him too? Double heart break. So the love of her life killed. She healed his, healed his heart. She expect him to heal her heart. A part of him must have been happy that the man was gone. Because 
deep down in his soul, he know that there was no man that she loved like him. Then you walk away because you say she throw pots and she throw out your clothes. What about the woman who threw away your kids to make it in love and hip hop? She bought for it your kids. I know you watch me, Safari, because you post me. Remember what that woman did for you when, when all hope was gone. So you were going to break up your marriage because of a miserable bitch called Spice who don't have a life and who is selfish. Hmm? All because you want to be patriotic to Jamaica. That is not being patriotic to Jamaica because she not even a Jamaican as far as I'm concerned. Yeah, she's some spirit from way back, way back that just have this thing against people and want to prove something and there ain't nothing to prove. There ain't nothing to prove more than you back gays because your son is gay. Everybody can see it in him. That manhood is not in him. And I don't tell you who to back, but you're making sure that you back gays from now because you know your son, you're going to have to back and answer to Jamaicans why he's gay. But the truth is, darling, you ain't got to answer to no one. Whatever he turns out to be, you ain't got to answer to no one. But go down on your knees and pray to God. But... You're baptized in sin because you know what's going on in your life, Spice, and you know too that you're a dyke. You go on hip hop and, and you have this girl show you around town, do everything for you, and move next door, been there for you and in, in your surgery and everything, and you used to give her the dildo, and what made you stop? Just It takes nothing out of you to continue giving her the dildo. Takes nothing out of you, but you had to break her heart. What's her name? What's her name? You had to break her the red heart because she loved reggae. That's another bitch sneaking in on reggae. But Cardi B is fine with me. Sneak in. Don't be surprised Cardi, Cardi B get awards for this year and before. But she, she genuinely love reggae. Cardi B. Big up to Cardi B. You understand? But that bitch who stole your soul... With, 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 with the dildo? You mean Cardi Red? Yeah. He's saying Cardi B. Cardi Red. Cardi Red. She, it, it, Spice st stole her soul with, with the dildo. She stole her soul. They got some spirit snatchers around here, man. Sp spirit snatchers. Y'all need to stop. King Mix Up. Where are you? King Mix Up, you're the king. Mix Up a Mix Up. This is the most mix up in one show. Because Amari ain't holding back. The, the, these people are low. Low. That motherfucker, Chensi, she end up in bed with all these women because she, she can't satisfy her man. She's not enough. Number one, y'all must remember she was boring from day one. Be laying there like a log. So she want to make it look like she adventurous. She have all these girls in her video. You think that's just a video? That's what she got to do to, to hold on to that man that she was with the other day. London on the track. London is on the track, darling. You're just one track. London need to be, be on many track. A Chensi from Jamaica who's not the most excited cannot hold him. You're not Maca Diamond. No, you're not. So there goes Dewey, going from place to place, doing interviews, and still is nobody. Poor Dewey. Poor Dewey. Still nobody. Because the only somebody around here, I think, is like Richie Feelings, who give you sexual healings and got the big stick. Dewey ain't got shit. I, I would never waste my tears crying over Dewey. You just have to look in his pants. I was, I was checking out this show the other day, and I saw them call Dewey on stage, and Dewey was walking up, and they were showing his shoulder, and I'd be, I'd be like, Queen I look bad at all. You understand? <laughs> and then they bring down the camera to his feet, and I saw these two little bird feet that can hardly hold him up. But it, it, it is enough to hold up his little tiny, teeny, 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 tiny ick. He ain't got nothing. What the fuck Queenie going crazy for? 
I, I don't know who, who Queenie trying to fool. You understand? It, 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 it has boiled down to just being a play. Ball, Queenie, ball. You get more lion from Nicki Minaj. You see, the day after Nicki Minaj gave her the so-called lion, Queenie just come on and say, Me bad, cantankerous, nasty. She said louder. Ball, Queenie, because you don't have another script. Do you agree? There's no other script. It's Queenie and Dewey, so expect fate. Just deal with them for the rest of your life. You understand? She keep it going. She, she know her thing. I must give it to her. I never see one person without one script will last so long. No baby born, still last. All she have to do is say one white woman take over Dewey. Or, <laughs> you know, you know me like about Queenie? When Queenie say I the wrong person, she had talk. Or the next the person have another name. When she realized, when, when Dewey said to her, I said, Queenie, oh, me for come back to you and you flat me in Canada. The person where I give me all of the show, them you had this. Queenie just come back and say, I had the wrong Samantha. <laughs> and I don't even notice. And not that the Samantha. Is the wrong Samantha? Is our another Samantha from years ago? Are you see him on Samantha she attack? Dirty Samantha from Canada where I wind up and do it. Are you she attack? As soon as Queen is to say, you still not come home, she got to tell you, say, are you see him on Samantha? But I don't know why you women be like crazy over do it, because you know that do it love Batty. And I stop fooling in herself. Do we don't like ladies? It's written on him, just like our oh, Inri was written on the cross when Jesus was nailed to the cross. It's same way it's written on Dewey. I love Batty. Not Batty Rider, Batty. So, what are we fighting for around here, Dewey? <laughs> Sue me, bitch. <laughs> Where's Wendy? I need to take your spot. Oh my gosh, what's happening around here? Don't you see God is paving the way for um, for me, Amari? When the sick out, mad out of a man. Mm? Spice nobody no one she. Mm? Come on social media and they decide that. They're going to be open like Amari so that they can have a platform like Amari. Bitch, y'all will never be Amari. King Mix Up, big up to the boss. Keep your thing going.